Hey guys, Mitchell Gonzalez, The Beard Realtor, here with Natalia Vecarelli with Spire Financial. Hey, are you guys currently living in the Denver area or maybe you're thinking about moving to the Denver area? You found yourself wondering, where can I get the best breakfast burrito? Well, you're in luck. Today, we are going to go over the five best breakfast burritos in the Denver metro area. So, let's hang out. Hey guys, Mitchell Gonzalez, The Beard Realtor here. If you've seen one of my videos before in the past, welcome back. If you're checking out my videos for the first time, make sure you click the red subscribe button below and make sure you follow me as I do post weekly videos all about living in and moving to the Denver metro area. Along with that, I am also a licensed broker in the area, so as much as I love doing these videos, I love helping people find their dream homes even more. So um, with that being said, you guys, I am extremely excited about today's video. This is the video you guys have all been waiting for. Um, I'm here with Natalia, who is with Spire Financial. Um, fantastic loan officer. If you guys have any questions about um, different loan options, your mortgage, maybe you're looking at refinancing, would definitely highly recommend her. Um, along with that, she is also a uh, fellow CU Buff fan. Go um, Buffs. That's right, Go Buffs. <laughs> She's an alumni. so. Um, I gotta give props to her because she was going to the CU football games knowing that they were probably gonna get smoked by like 40 or 50 points. The rebuilding uh, years. That, that's right. The rebuilding Re years. I don't even know if it's rebuilding. That was like crashing years now. Well, we're, we're gonna call it rebuilding. Yeah, re re rebuilding. But um, needless to say, we're very excited about Coach Prime, seeing what he can do. So I uh, can't call her a Fairweather fan. She's been there <laughs> from the get go. Um, so, but you know, we could sit here and talk about sports all day long and the buffs. You guys wanna know where can I get the best breakfast burrito, right? And that's why I could not have found someone better than <laughs> Natalia, even though she is also a great loan officer. She has spent a large portion of her life finding the best breakfast burritos in the area. She's got an extensive list. Um, there's been a lot of people that have been begging for her to, to launch this list. So the fact that she is sharing her top five with <laughs> us today, right now, this is, this is a really big deal. So I'm excited to learn. Um, where we can get the best breakfast burritos. And I'm excited to share the secrets. I mean, like you said, this mm -hmm. list has been accumulated over the last couple of years from people in the Denver metro area and really all over the state of Colorado looking for a breakfast burrito because these mm -hmm. are something that are specific to Colorado and how good they are. Yep. Specifically for the green chili, but we'll yep. get into the details. Yep. So make sure that you guys watch the entire video because guys, we are saving the best spot for last. We'll actually be on site testing these breakfast burritos, making sure that it is uh, actually the best because I haven't even been to this place. So let's hang out. All right, you guys, we're gonna go over the five best breakfast burritos. So we're gonna go over four with you right now. And then, like I said, best one, we're gonna go on location. So uh, Talia, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you go ahead and run with this thing because I don't know what she's gonna say. I'm, I'm as excited or maybe more excited about this list than you guys are. <laughs> well, we're gonna talk about these in no specific order. I'm not talking Four, three, two, one. We're just gonna overview all the top five burritos. Um, La since last, last one is best, though, right? Last one is best. So, we are so gonna two, save that. Two through one. five in no particular order. Yes, no last particular order. Um, since we're on the topic of Boulder mm -hmm. and the Buffs, let's start with Illegal Pete's. Now, if you have not tried this breakfast burrito, run to your closest Illegal Pete's location. The reason Illegal Pete's is so great is because it is a build your own burrito. We love it. Honestly, Colorado natives was born on the hill in Boulder, so has a little bit of nostalgia there, but it is also so great because you do have that customization within the burrito. You can see how it's being made. Always helps you to, you know, feel a little bit better about eating it. I did not see that coming. Illegal Pete's. Illegal Pete's. Okay. But I mean. I've, I've had their lunch burritos, but uh, breakfast burritos, is it better than the lunch burrito? Oh you yeah. Say? Okay. Oh yeah. All right. Breakfast burritos are the best. And they got and locations everywhere too. They do, and they celebrate National Breakfast Burrito Day, mm -hmm. which they offer free breakfast burritos. That's actually when I Which day tried. is that? Ooh, if I, I can't recall that off. Actually, no, it's in April. Keep your eyes out, April's coming April, up soon. April, somewhere. <laughs> Unless if you're watching this video after April, then you'll have to wait, but still check out Illegal Pete's. Go follow Illegal Pete's on Instagram because they will post when they're giving free burritos and that's the perfect time to try. It's the best burrito, free one. Yep, my favorite location of Illegal Pete's is in Sunnyside. So off of about, uh, where would that be? 38th, 
off of 38th in Sunnyside in Denver. It's a great location. Um, but let's move on to the next one. The next one we'll talk about is Arujos. So if you like Santiago's, you will love Arujos. It is a very, you know, easy burrito, pretty small, so you don't feel super full. Um, and it has kind of that Santiago's feel where you have that really good green chili, but a good mix of everything yeah. else. This one is on 26th and Federal. Okay. So technically call that the Highlands. Sure. Um, but I'd say it's like Santiago's, but you like to mix it up a little bit. Like, everyone like has Santiago's. Santiago's. Santiago's on steroids, maybe? Yes, okay. but everyone has Santiago's on their sure. list. So this yeah. is for the purpose of a little bit of diversity. Absolutely. Um, let's see. The next one will be Gomez Burritos. This is on Park and I-25. Gomez is also a great classic. They have had multiple locations all around Colorado, um, but this specific location, kind of within the Santiago's family, not necessarily within the... Uh, illegal Pete's or our number one pick family. Um, you'll see that they're very separate burritos, but Gomez is super quality ingredients, fantastic green chili. Um, you know, those are the biggest things I look for in a bre breakfast burrito is that quality um, and the quality of the green chili because that's ultimately what makes Colorado breakfast burritos Nice, nice and spicy. Nice and spicy. Who's got the, who's got the spiciest green chili? <sighs> I honestly, Loco Hermanos in okay. Louisville. Okay. I've heard. Well, I've never this, tried it. This is a bonus <laughs> breakfast this burrito. This is bonus. Bonus. This is not including the top five. This is no. for you that are looking for the fire burritos. Spencer Hellwig, if you're watching this. Yep. They would be on my list if Antonio. it was outside Denver Metro. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they have the spicy green yep. chili. I'm a 50-50 kind of gal. Mm -hmm. I don't go too spicy, but yep. the quality of the green chili is key. Mm -hmm. And I always do recommend going a little bit spicier than mild because that's where you get all the flavors because the mm. chilies that are the spiciest have the flavors something my fiance taught me insider <laughs> insider info right there insider on info i did not know that yes the next one is also going to be in sunny side off of zuni this is called sunny's so what makes sunny's great this is more in our number one pick and the illegal pete's category because it's a bigger burrito it's something where okay. after you eat it you might want to sit down for a few hours after you can't you know take it on a hike <laughs> with you um, don't have it before you have like a big meeting or no, something. You no, no. Sleep. It's it's food great coma. for a lazy Sunday. Food induced um, coma. Food induced coma. It's a big burrito. But what is so great about it is they make their own chorizo in house. Um, I'm a big believer in that chorizo. If a restaurant can get the chorizo right, they will usually have the burrito right because okay. chorizo it's pretty hard to do. Bacon and sausage those are average, but chorizo that's where it gets tough and that's really where you separate the amazing burritos from the lake so-so's so sunny's in sunny side all right so you guys have it our, our talia's <laughs> two through five plus bonus hottest burrito so now let's go check out the number one spot here we go i'm excited <laughs> we'll see you guys over there We are here at the best breakfast burrito spot in the Denver metro area in Golden Bonfire burritos, so <laughs> I've never had one of these burritos before so I am very excited to give it a try But uh, Natalia is going to go ahead and let you guys know why this is the best breakfast burrito spot in the Denver area Yep, so what makes a good breakfast burrito three simple things tortilla eggs quality ingredients thing that makes bonfire the best is the anaheim chilies i always get the burrow because it's fantastic their green chili is amazing their eggs are amazing but ultimately their tortilla their tortilla has so much quality in it you can tell it's either handmade or really picked for the burrito itself ultimately that's what makes a good burrito and that's what makes bonfire number one hand-picked tortillas hand -picked. I, I, I like it i'm excited <laughs> to to give this thing a try we'll go ahead and give them a Give them a little sample here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna give these things a try. So right here, I've got the chupacabra, which is basically has every type of breakfast meat in it. So hash browns, Anaheim peppers. Uh, which ones you get? I got the burro. So All the right. Anaheim, we got some sausage, we got some chipotle crema. Let's give yep. it a try. All right. Oh. 
Look at that quality. Mm. <laughs> it's pretty good. Got the hash browns in it. I would definitely confirm this is an amazing breakfast burrito. All right, you guys, thanks for hanging out with us today. Um, we had a great time talking about these breakfast burritos with you guys. Hopefully you learned something new about a new breakfast burrito spot that you can go try out. Um, if you haven't had a chance yet, make sure you click the subscribe button below so you can see all my videos about living in and moving to the Denver area. If you have any questions about real estate, make sure that you give me a call, shoot me an email. If you have any questions about loans, your mortgage, looking at you know maybe a new option, definitely give Natalia a call. Um, you know, she's got some great programs, great at helping people find the right program for you. So, um, thanks for joining me today yeah. on this video. Thank uh, you. Had a good time. So, we're going to go <laughs> ahead and enjoy the rest of our breakfast burritos. So, until then, Bearded Realtor, signing off. <laughs>